1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. For they themselves declared concerning us what manner of entry we had to you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, who delivers us from the wrath to come. Amen. Praise the Lord. For they themselves declare concerning us what manner of entry we had to you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his son from heaven whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, who delivers us from the wrath to come. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, the beginning is, you know, it's the Apostle Paul and his whoever's with him at the time and and he's saying that, you know, they got word that uh, these this people in the, the church in Thessalonica, many of them came to the Lord, surrendered and turned from their idols. And so that the, the Apostle Paul and whoever was with him could, you know, come and meet them and see them. But for us today, you know, it's still applicable that, you know, the king, the people in the heavenly places all hear about our salvation and how we turn to God from idols and serve the living and true God as well. But I believe the strength of this, these verses today is in the second part, to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, who delivers all of us from the wrath to come. It is that looking forward to his coming, and that's pressing forward by seeking him, his work in us, and by just... Um, opening our hearts to yielding to his work and his Holy Spirit, like the eunuch who was preparing Esther to see the king, listening to the leading of the Holy Spirit. What does he want us to see, confess? So the work is finished so we can look forward to our king, Jesus Christ, coming from heaven, uh, who delivers us from the wrath to come. Uh, the more we, we just, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, the more we seek his work in us and not our own will, uh, the, the sooner he comes to us because the, the Holy Spirit is sanctifying us and preparing us for his coming. And so um, that is our, our focus is, is on the kingdom and his preparation and not the world that we left behind. Uh, that wrath to come is mentioned in Second Peter chapter 3, knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days walking according to their own lust, saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they willfully forget that by the word of God the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of water and in the water by which the world that then existed perished, it perished, that being flooded with water, but the heavens and the earth, which are now preserved by the same word, are reserved for fire until the day of judgment and the perdition and perdition of ungodly men. Amen. No longer is it a flood. It is now fire that's coming, judgment upon the world. Thank God for Jesus Christ who has redeemed us out of that. But our focus is no longer on this world that's going to be burned up and all that's in it and the ways of this world. The, the, the prescription that the world has is to be successful, to get ahead and to accomplish things and make a name for ourselves and all that stuff is going to mean nothing in the days ahead. But the greatest gift, there is no greater gift than this, gift than this than one to lay down their life for another. To lay down our lives for Jesus Christ, to be used, to be blessed, uh, see other people blessed is our purpose now. And to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and his sanctifying work in us is our purpose now. So Heavenly Father, we ask that you help us stay focused on you and, and just Press in, Lord, and we know it's your work. We, we just ask you to help us yield to it so that we are sanctified, holy, set apart like the apostles of old, and uh, our reward will be with us. But your name will be glorified, and many people will escape the judgment of fire to come if we are your vessels, your hands and feet. So we know you called us for such a time as this, 
Just help us let go and seek first your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord.